Good morning, Ultimate Hustlers. It's that time for the Cortez Hustle Show. We're part two of our series on middleman money. How do you make money marketing and selling other people's products, also known as arbitrage? Yesterday, we talked about retail arbitrage, doing this with products and services that you, uh, products that you retail. Today, we're going to talk about service arbitrage because this is a part of the game that most people have no clue that they could do but they do it all day every day so comment in the chat where you're from drop the name of your business down to your brand and smash that share button ladies and gentlemen i promise you do not want to miss this if you're trying to figure out how to add another stream of income to your household then this is the show that you want to catch and the show that you want to share. And for those of you who hang around to the end of the show, I'm actually going to give you my automated affiliate sales machine for free. But you got to stick around to the end of today's episode. So comment in the chat where you're from, drop the name of your business and on your brand and smash that share button, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's kick it. Yo, what's up, Ultimate Hustlers, and welcome to the Cortez Hustle Show, the business podcast for the entrepreneur of the 21st century. And I'm your host, Cortez Hustle. Our goal is to give you a behind the scenes look at how the world's greatest hustlers build amazing brands, scale their businesses to incredible heights, sell more, make more, and create mass movements that impact the world. It doesn't matter if you're a seasoned vet, or you're sitting on the sidelines with aspirations to one day unleash your inner hustle. This show will provide the insights into how pure grit, determination, and hard work has morphed into some of the most iconic brands and personalities and how they are moving the culture forward. You'll get a mix of solo shows featuring yours truly, as well as interviews and content from other hustlers that I either know personally, or I've learned from, or whose grind I've come to know and respect. And you'll also get exclusive recordings from our membership called Monetize My Life Academy, which you can check out at monetizemylifeacademy.com. That's a program where we go live every month with some of the best hustlers on the planet, sharing best practices on how we all can explode our brands with advanced branding and marketing tactics, business development strategies, and financial game planning necessary to build the empires we all desire. Again, that's at monetizemylifeacademy.com. Com. If you like today's episode, chances are the hustlers you're connected to will like it as well. Share it with those in your network. And when you do, use hashtag Cortez Hustle so I can see you and hopefully give you a shout out and share you in my stories. So check out today's episode and make sure you subscribe to the feed on your favorite podcasting networks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cortez Hustle Show. I am, of course, your host, Cortez Hustle, also known as the one and only financial health mentor from workwithcortez.com. And I'm coming to you live and direct from the Extra Digit Movement Studios right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Guys, put this in the chat for me. Put this in the comments. Building wealth is a team sport. Now, now that you know that building wealth is a team sport, answer this question to yourself personally. Who's in your starting lineup? Ladies and gentlemen, the Extra Digit Movement is a team of the most committed, the most well-trained, the most compassionate and passionate financial educators on the planet. And all we want to do is help you grow your income, your cash flow, and your net worth one digit at a time. If you want to be part of a community that's holding one another accountable to building generational wealth, then I need for you to text keyword Extra Digit to 314 374-6887. Again, text keyword extra digit to 314-874-6887. We're talking middleman money. Yesterday we did retail arbitrage. Today, I'm going to show you how to arbitrage services. What does that mean? That means when you know of a service that someone else can perform and they can do it well you know of people who need that service you can connect the dots and extract you an income or a commission by doing that so let me get this straight you get to sell a product make money and do none of the work yes that's what we're talking about 
So we're going to share with you uh, how that whole thing plays out. But before we do, I got a couple of announcements for you guys. Um, still looking for seven more people to work with in my financial education franchise. Today is the last day, ladies and gentlemen, that you can get a $99 cash flow credit. What does that mean? Normally, it's $229 to rock with us. Today, if you rock with us before midnight today, you can actually join for $129. What do you get for your $129? You get an instant pay raise if you're working a job. You get credit repair. You get debt elimination. You get bill shredder. You get land banking, private banking, and real estate investments all done for you by a team of licensed and certified professionals. And if you share with other people what we're doing to fight the war on poverty with this service, you can actually make some passive and residual income as well. So if you text me keyword extra digit to 314-874-6887, I'll get you some information. I'm also going to put a link in the comments that you can click on and go learn more about what it is that we do. Bruce, I see you this morning. Welcome to the Cortez Hustle Show. So middleman money, right? In this economy, the, the, the word capitalism and my simple de definition says this, those who know can profit from those who don't know, right? Those who know can profit from those who don't know. And that's not a good, that's not a bad thing. So I'm going to show you how to profit from what you know and leverage that against those who don't know. But you're going to do it in a fair and an ethical manner. But before we do that, guys, I've got to hit you with the quote of the day. Every morning we start the show with the quote of the day. And today's quote is from the great Jim Rohn. It's easy to be successful except for one problem. It's easier not to. Oh, I'm going to run that one back because I got to get that. It's easy to be successful in any walk of life, any endeavor. You want to be successful in business. You want to be successful in your marriage. You want to be successful in, on your career. It's easy to be successful except one problem. It's easier not to. Ladies and gentlemen, don't take easier. Do what you know you need to do to be successful, to win in life. And I promise you, when you get that reward, it's going to be so worth it. So many people run into the challenges of trying to be successful and things get in their way. Those things are not in your way to stop you. They're in your way to strengthen you. So you got to push forward. You got to have some perseverance. You got to have some persistence. You got to have some consistency, right? You know what you need to do in order to win, but it's easier not to do those things and make excuses. Oh man, when the kids get a little older, then I'm going to rock this thing out. Oh, when my husband gets a better job. Oh, when my wife uh, gets employed. Oh, when this pandemic is over, I'm going to start that business. Oh, just a whole bunch of shenanigans, ladies and gentlemen. You know what you need to do. Get out here and do it, man, and be proud of it. Stop caring too much about what other people think, right? And notice I said stop caring too much. There's no such thing as not caring what other people think. We're social creatures. We're made to be interdependent, loving on one another, right? But don't care too much about what other people think that you allow it to stop you. So yes, it is easy to be successful, but it's easier not to. Do not choose easier, ladies and gentlemen. And today's quarter of the day is brought to you by my girl, Bianca Shante. You guys make sure you go to IamBiancaShante.com and grab this book, uh, this best-selling book, All Things Positive. Check it out right here. Today's show was brought to you in part by Bianca Shante, wife, Air Force veteran, business owner, motivational speaker, and now number one best-selling author of All Things Positive. This book is filled with hope and inspiration for anyone that needs a little push. If you are struggling in a relationship with your mental health, with deciding on a business idea or just want a new awesome book to read for your self-care day, this is the one. This book will help you to self-evaluate and even ignite a fire within. Grab yours today at IamBiancaShante.com. 
All Things Positive has seven focus areas where different life struggles, weaknesses, and negative perspectives are addressed while giving readers a more positive outlook, direction, and a push to change their life trajectory for the better by focusing on all things positive. I am BiancaShante.com. Grab your copy today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cortez Hustle Show. It's time, man. Let's get to this money. How do we get to the money? By using something called arbitrage. It's basically when you buy low and you sell high. And the key to arbitrage, ladies and gentlemen, is brand. That is the key. I want you to think about this. Why is it that I can go to Dollar General and get a tube of toothpaste, right? Let's say it's Arm & Hammer. I use Arm & Hammer, right? I can go to Dollar General and get that tube of Arm & Hammer toothpaste. I can go to Walmart and get that tube of uh, 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 Arm & Hammer toothpaste. And it's going to cost me a little bit more. I can go to... Uh, Walgreens and get that same tube of Arm & Hammer toothpaste is going to cost me a little bit more. I can then go to Target and get that same tube of toothpaste and it's going to cost me a little bit more. Why is it that the same tube of toothpaste costs different prices in all of these respective places? One word, y'all. Brand. See, brand determines how much you can charge for something because of the value and the message behind your brand, because your brand is just a promise. And Walmart is promising it's going to deliver everyday low prices, right? Target is promising convenience, but they also promise that they're going to have clean stores, friendly customer service, uh, wide aisles, right? So it costs them a little bit more to operate because it costs them a little bit more to operate because they're not cramming their stores and, and that kind of thing, then they have to charge a little bit more on for their, their, their products, right? Guys, arbitrage is the same thing. Now, what is arbitrage? It is buying low and selling high. Let me just recap what we talked touched on yesterday. Uh, we, we talked about the fact that Everybody should have a business that they operate from their homes. Your birthright in this country, you are born an entrepreneur. Believe it or not, America is a business. Therefore, everybody born in America is also a business. Just like I'm a black man, I've got five sons. I couldn't have anything other than a black child. America is a business. So anybody born in America is by default born a business owner. Now, the problem though is someone stole your birthright. What do you mean, Cortez? Years ago, they decided that it is better for wealthy people to have employees build their, their companies and their factories and in order for us to get the employee mindset and out of the business owner mindset, guys, I don't know if you guys know your history, but 100 years ago, 95% of this, the, the people in this country were business owners. 5% worked for someone else, but 95% were business owners because they were all farmers. They were all smart, small tradesmen. They were business owners, right? That flipped. Why? Because government realized they can institute something called an income tax. And if you are an, a business owner, you don't pay an income tax, right? When you work for someone else, you do. You get taxed on your income. So that's what happened. Now we are in a situation where the government gets its money from taxing employees. Big business gets its money from leveraging the labor of employees. So what they decided to do is come together and build a curriculum for our school system that creates employees. Right? <laughs> they are the ones who finance our school system. So our school system has taught and trained us that 
not only did they teach us that the best way to make an income in this country is through a job, they did it in a way to also make us believe that that's the only way to make an income in a job. You think a business is, is something that you're allergic to. No, we got to get back to our birthright, y'all. So if you have a business, if you started arbitrage today, anybody can start a business right now today called a reseller business. What does that mean? That means I'm going to go and find products and services I'm going to pay a low amount for, and then I'm going to turn around and resell them out of my garage, off my carport, uh, in front of my house as a yard sale. I'm going to post pictures of them and sell them online and ship them out to people. Today, you can have a business. And what is the benefit of that, Cortez? You get an instant pay raise on your job because when you are a business and an employee, your company that you work for has to recognize your new position in this economy as a business owner. So that means they take less taxes out of your check. So that gives you an instant pay raise. Now, with that extra money, you can use that to get out of debt. You can use that to reinvest in your business. You can use that to build your emergency fund. You can use that to invest in other people's businesses, right? The key to fighting the war on poverty, the number one weapon that we use, and I suggest everybody else use it too, is a home-based business. And arbitrage allows you to start a business for practically nothing, right? So we talked about different ways that you can do retail arbitrage, right? Retail arbitrage says, I'm going to go to a retail outlet, somebody else that is selling something or giving something away. I'm going to grab it, clean it up, and then I'm going to turn around and post it online in um, places like uh, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, things of that nature, right? And we gave you a list of places that you could go to search for these products, right? So uh, you can go to uh, places like uh, Craigslist for one. Uh, and a lot of times you can get stuff for free for Craigslist and turn around and put it back on Craigslist and sell it. Uh, you can go to local yard sales and garage sales. You can go to thrift stores. You can go to uh, department store. Clearance racks is a good place for you to go. Uh, video game stores, bookstores. Uh, this is all. These are all places where you can get stuff for a for pennies on a dollar and turn around and resell them. Now, uh, this article is uh, called uh, WellKeptWallet.com. They also gave a tool that you could use, right? And that tool is called Profit Bandit, right? It's an app where you can literally scan the barcode on a product and see what it's being resold for online. So if I'm in, a, 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 let's say I'm in Macy's, right? And I'm at their clearance rack. And I see some nice things on clearance. Now, these things retail in Macy's for 50 bucks, but they're on sale for 10 bucks. I can scan that barcode and it will instantly tell me how much is being resold for in other places on the internet. So maybe. It's being resold on the internet for 30 bucks. So, man, I'm looking at, okay, I can get this thing for 10 bucks. I can then turn around and sell it on the internet for 20 bucks. It's a hot product. Let me get 10 of these, right? That's retail arbitrage, right? So, your retail outlets, you can do that. The clearance racks, video game stores, bookstores, libraries. Uh, these places all sell things that you can uh, uh, buy at a discount, right? Uh, Bruce says roadside and dumpster diving was the way to go uh, in my younger days. And it still is. It still is, especially if you have some handyman skills, right? They might There might be a dresser out sitting down and the dresser is in great shape, except one of the drawers is off track. Oh, man, that's nothing for a craftsman. I go and spend $10 worth of, of, of products uh, uh, and, and rebuild that drawer and puts it back on track. Now I got a dresser I can sell for 50 bucks. Right. It is amazing how people are struggling financially in this 
is the land of opportunity. Opportunities are everywhere you go, yet nobody seems to want to put in the work, right? eBay, you can actually buy things off eBay, turn around and sell them back on eBay at a higher price. Uh, used cars, we all know that used cars is another one of those deals, right? Ikea, right? Many people uh, rave over Ikea products. However, if you don't live near a store, you may have to pay for shipping. You can buy items from Ikea and offer free Amazon Prime two-day shipping. What? Toy stores. You can go to toy stores and get things off the clearance rack, turn around, put that stuff on eBay. Flea markets, right? We're talking retail arbitrage, dollar stores, right? These are places that you can go and get stuff at a low price and turn around and sell them at a high price. Now, it's time for one minute motivation. So on the other side of one minute motivation, we're going to go through this list of 36 online services that you can also do arbitrage with. And don't forget, if you stick around to the end of the day's episode, I'm actually going to give you my affiliate marketing sales machine for free. It's already loaded with products. All you got to do is put it in front of the right people. They're going to opt in. They're going to buy some of those products and you're going to make some money, right? It's pretty cool. And I'm going to give it to you for free. Uh, so let's get into one minute motivation real quick. One minute motivation right here on the Cortez Social Show is where we play a short motivational video. We ask that you comment your takeaway from the video. I'm going to give you a couple of my takeaways. Uh, and then we, of course, got to shout out our sponsor today. I think I got some Les Brown queued up for you. So let's get into one minute motivation right here on the Cortez Social Show. Most of us go through life pretending that we don't have any special goals or ambitions or desires when really deep down inside we do really want more. We block ourselves and we use these words almost like we are in a trance. There are winners, there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight or a different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you that's real for you that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that. See, five years ago, when I started out in this area, I would not have been able to make the mental leap that I would be up to where I am right now. I don't want you to begin to just psych yourself out. No, no. I want you to be able to say something to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action, continuously looking for ways to win. Hoo wee let's round me on fire, man. Uh, that's what I wake up to in the morning, man. I try to every morning get something positive going on in my head. And that's just just it, it's become part of my day, man. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy that as much as I do. Uh, one of the reasons I love the one minute motivation segment, because we all just listen to the same clip. But based on where we are in our lives, we all heard something very different. So comment your takeaway for today's clip. Uh, he said, man, integrity with myself. Yeah, Bruce, I picked that one up, man. I got that one. I got that one down, right? But here's one that I really want to spend a little bit of time on. What's up, uh, Miss Vivian? Here's one I want to spend a little bit of time on. He opened up the clip saying, some of us are pretending, right? We're pretending that we are content. We're, we're pretending that we are satisfied with the life that we've built for ourselves thus far. 
we're pretending that we don't want more out of life. I want y'all to put this in the comments for me, man. Please put this in the comments. Stop pretending. See, the reason we pretend we don't want anything more out of life because we know wanting more out of life will require us to do more, will require us to become more. So we run around saying, I'm cool with that. No, I'm straight. I'm satisfied. Cortez, all you do is talk about money, bro. I I, I don't need to, to, to be rich. I don't need to be wealthy. Listen, man, stop fooling yourselves. You know how I know you want more? Because I know who created you. And I know that there is something that is on fire inside of you trying to get out. And if you tap into that, you will become more and therefore you will do more. And by default, you will have more. But you're suppressing that because you don't want the responsibility of leveraging your gift and allowing it to make room for you. Yeah, Bruce said the racket we run on ourselves is strong. Stop pretending, y'all. It's okay to want more. I am completely and utterly grateful and thankful for all the things that I have built up into this point. But I am in no way content nor satisfied. No way. You know why? Because my purpose has been revealed to me, and this has nothing to do with anybody else. This only has to do with the relationship that I have with my creator. And it's been revealed to me that I'm slacking based on the skills and the gifts that I have on the inside of me. Yeah, I'm slacking. Like, you have the intelligence. You have the commitment. You have the will. You have the drive. You have the ambition. You have the creative the creativity, you have the imagination to do greater things, but you plan, bro. It's a conversation I have with my creator. Did you plan? You're putting a half-hearted effort out. Therefore, you're not getting the results that you could have. So don't trick yourself into believing that you are satisfied. Don't trick yourself into believing that you are comfortable. You are content. This is the best you can do. It's a lie, man. Stop lying to yourself. Stop pretending. It's okay to want more. Matter of fact, put that in the comments. It's okay to want more. That does not mean that I am not thankful for what I have. What I have today is a result of who I believed I was the first 47 years of my life. Oh, I want y'all to get that. What I have today is a result of who I believed I was the first 47 years of my life. Guess what? I believe I'm somebody different today. And because I'm somebody different, I can have something different. He said there are winners there are losers, and then there are people who have not learned how to win yet. You know how you learn how to win, y'all? Get on a winning team. There are people who are losers, there are people who are winners, and then there are people who have just not figured out how to win yet. Get on a winning team. That's how you learn how to win. You guys remember uh, a guy like Robert Ory played in the NBA and he won his first championships with Houston. Then he bounced around and won some championships in some other places. You know how he kept a job? Because people wanted a champion in their locker room. So they paid him exorbitant amounts of money. Now, he did eventually become known as Big Shot Bob, right? He hit some game winning threes that helped teams in the playoffs and stuff. But the reason older guys are able to stay 
in the league longer if they won a championship because they know what it is to win one. And teams will pay them extra money to be to sit on my bench. But you're a champion. You know what a championship pedigree is. And you can teach our young players how to be a champion. You want to be a winner? You want to learn how to win? Get on a winning team. When I tell y'all the extra digit movement, man, is a winning team. When I tell y'all that the extra digit movement is a winning team. Yeah, not just financially. Yeah, we're going to help you win in your finances. We're going to help you win in business, but we're going to help you win in life, man. All right, that's it. One minute motivation, man. Brought to you by the extra digit movement. If you want to join a winning team and get your finances in order, have a business that allows you to have professionals working for you and you can bring economic empowerment to your community and get paid, text keyword extra digit to 314-874-6887. Let me put that in the chat real quick. Text extra digit to 314-874-6887. Uh, we're having a special through midnight Eastern tonight where you can actually join our community for 129 instead of 229 so save yourselves 100 bucks you guys know you need this you know you're ready to rock with us you've just been going back and forth you've been following me for a while just stop playing man let's just jump on in and save you 99 dollars today uh by getting started text me extra digital movement and we're gonna rock so we're talking middleman money how do you make money as arbitrage from products we know that if i went to the dollar store and i bought a product that was on sale I see that same product is selling on Amazon or eBay or uh, on Facebook Marketplace. I can sell that product for a little bit more. I keep the difference. That's called arbitrage. You can do the same thing with services. So let me drop this link in the comments as well, because this is from moneycrashers.com. Now, they're giving us 36 ways to make money from home, right? 36 ways. So let me just read a, a couple uh, uh, excerpts real quick. It says, when the coronavirus pandemic hit, millions of office-based Americans abruptly transitioned to full-time work-from-home arrangements ostensibly on a temporary basis. But according to a 2020 survey by the Pew Research Center, more than half of those who began working from home during the pandemic actually prefer remote employment. More than three quarters have adequate workspace and at home business technology, according to Pew, and more than half enjoy flexible scheduling that allows them to stop and start work at their discretion. Guys, it is getting so bad now as companies are trying to bring their employees back to the office, they're quitting. They're quitting. Because once you get a taste of this make money from home vibe, oh, there's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. You don't want to go back into the office. You get the to, 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 to feel the reduced stress that comes with, I can sleep a little bit longer because I don't have a 45-minute commute. You get the reduced stress of, I don't have to deal with the stress of driving and traffic to work and from work. You get to save a little bit money, save the wear and tear on your car, save lunch money because you can go in the kitchen and fix yourself a sandwich. Or if you do want to order, you can still have food delivered to your home. Right. A lot of people start looking at this thing like, listen. If my job asks me to come back to work, I ain't going. But I'm gonna need to do something to pay for my house, right? I'm gonna need something to pay for, for these expenses, right? Whether your goal is to build a sustainable passive income stream or simply earn a few extra bucks to uh, complement your part or full time income, all you need to work from home is a computer a quiet space, a strong work ethic, and a willingness to follow these tips for working from home more efficiently. Now, 
we're talking arbitrage. I'm gonna. She's sharing tips just in general on the types of businesses that you can have from your home. I'm gonna share with you how you can start a business in some of these industries and get paid and not do the work yourself, right? This is what arbitrage is, right? She said, number one, sell your insights through blogging. Blogs are, are just uh, venues for bored people to share their thoughts about anything and everything. They can also be a legitimate source of income for aspiring bloggers keen to making money online. So this show, guys, is a podcast and a blog. Why? Because I am, I feel that my creator made me during this space in time, right? Think about this. You could have been born a hundred years ago. You could be born a hundred years into the future. But why were you born during this time when we got the iPhone, the internet, we got social media? Why? Because I believe that I was born and put on this earth to empower my community economically through entrepreneurship. That's why I believe I was here. That's why I believe I was created, right? To empower our community economically through entrepreneurship. That's my mission. That's my purpose. That's why I was created, right? So I have a blog and a podcast to share my thoughts and my insights with the world to help me fulfill my mission. Now, Cortez, how can I use arbitrage when it comes to blogging? Watch this. When you are a blogger, a blogger is basically someone who has a website that has a text post uh, format so that they can write like a newspaper, it's like a digital newspaper. Well, guess what? A lot of people want to blog, but they're afraid of the technology of blogging. It's like, I don't know how to set up a WordPress site. I don't know how to set up a site on digital empire system. I don't know how to set up my own site to start the blog. I can write, but then once I write my blog article, I don't know how to format it so that it looks good on the internet and it's engaging and it's written in a way that people actually want to read it. Watch this. This is where arbitrage comes in. A, if you love helping writers make money and get their thoughts out there because arbitrage starts with brand and passion, right? You have to have some sort of interest or passion in the area that you're doing arbitrage. Otherwise, it becomes a money grab and it's not going to be sustainable. But if you are a blogger yourself and you know the power of blogging and you want to create another revenue stream, then you can use arbitrage to do that. Why? Because people don't know how to set up their own blog. So you can literally say, hey, I have this successful blog and I actually want to teach you the power of blogging and help you set up a blog. So what are you doing? You're lining up the customers for people that want to blog. Say I got 25 people that want to start their own blog, but they're afraid of the technology. Now, that means I've got half of the equation. I've got customers ready to invest in a blog. But I don't want to do the work. So what do I do? I go out to a site like Fiverr.com. I go out to a site like Upwork.com and I post a job and says, how much does it cost for you to set up a blog for me? And all of these people will submit their bids to you. One person might say, hey, I can set up a blog for you in 24 hours. It's going to cost you 50 bucks. Another person might say, hey, it takes me two days to set up a blog. It costs you 200 bucks. You find a service provider who can do the service for you at a reasonable price. And then you come back to the 25 people who are interested in starting a blog. You say, hey, listen, I can get you a blog set up. If you say, say you pick, pick the side that says uh, you pick something right in the middle, 100 bucks, right? 
the person is going to set up the blog for a hundred bucks. You go back to your 25 people and say, listen, you see my blog. This is how much money I make from a blog. I can teach you the art of blogging, but you need to have your blog set up. I can get a blog set up for you within 48 hours for two hundred dollars. Out of the 25 people, you might have 10 that agree. You just made a thousand dollars. So you're going to take the two thousand dollars that you got from those 10 people. Two hundred times 10 is two thousand. One hundred times 10 is one thousand. You're going to give one thousand to the guy who said he's going to build it for you for one hundred dollars each. And you just made a thousand dollars. Why? Because of what you know. Remember, capitalism, those who know profit from those who don't know. I know where to get a blog done and created for one hundred dollars. These people over here don't know where to go and get that from. So they're willing to pay two hundred dollars to get started. Boom. I just made a thousand dollars from my know how. And as we go down this list, find the thing that you can be passionate about where arbitrage works for you. Right now, let me say this also about blogging. You might also because bloggers usually write one blog post per week. If these people got their blog platform set up, but they don't know how to format their blog and all of that kind of stuff, you might say, listen, for once you have your blog set up for fifty dollars per post, I will organize your blog in a way that it is easy to read and all of that kind of stuff. And what do you do? I found somebody over here on Fiverr that will organize a blog post for twenty dollars. So all I'm going to do is create the arbitrage. I'm making thirty dollars for every person who signs up for my program to have one blog post per week organized in a way that it's easy to read. I send it to Fiverr. They do the work. Everybody's happy. Right. Arbitrage, man, is a real deal. Right. We're not going to go through all thirty six of these, but I want to. Matter of fact, do me this favor. List something in the comments that you are passionate about. And let's see if we can find somewhere that you can use arbitrage based on that passion. Right. So let's see. Let me see. Let me see what else you got on here. Uh, virtual tutoring. Um, yeah, you can do that. I'm not going to go into that one. Uh, storage space leasing. Turn your extra space into a storage unit. Watch this. This one is good. Storage space leasing. Right. Say you got a home. This is one of the things that uh, that that could really transform people's situation. A lot of us have houses or homes that are too much house for us, right? It was a nice four bedroom, two two and a half bath home when you and all your children lived there. But now all of your children are grown and gone. You got all this extra house, all these extra rooms, and the mortgage is killing you, <laughs> right? What could you do in that situation? It's simple. You could literally put yourself in a position where, hey, I've got a nice two-car garage that I don't even park in. I can take that two-car garage. I can section it off into a couple of 10 by 10 spaces. And now I can create a storage situation where I can lease that space. Or that's me physically doing it. But what does arbitrage say? Arbitrage say, I want to be the connector of someone who has the space and someone who needs to lease the space. And I just want to make money in the middle, right? I just want to make money in the middle. So you can find some good storage space and say, hey, listen, man, I found this, this nice storage facility. Uh, and say you can get the storage space for $25 a month. You put the people that you're working with under contract for $50 a month. And 
boom, you just created arbitrage. Those who know capitalize on those who don't know. And that's not a bad thing, right? What else can we do from an arbitrage standpoint with services, right? With services, right? Downsize and declutter. Sell stuff, uh, your your unwanted stuff. That's that's kind of like arbitrage with, with retail. She's got some good stuff listed here. Let, let's see. Uh, freelance writing, sell your words. Right now, here, here, here's another one. This is great arbitrage stuff. Freelance writing, sell your words. Listen, with the amount of online publications and the amount of information needed for magazines, all of these, di these different places, they're constantly looking for writers to write articles. Now, if you love to write, this is a good way for you to make some extra money. Writing is not my thing, right? But this is a way that you can make some good money. Watch this. Say you are a good writer and you like writing articles in a specific niche, a specific industry. You can go to the Mac. Say, say I'm a nature writer. I like writing articles about things in nature, right? No, let, let, let's say camping. I like camping. Right. All outdoor stuff, fishing, hunting, hiking, all that kind of stuff. I like to write about that stuff. I can literally go to all of these online publications and blogs who write about the same stuff and they all need content. Y'all. Now, I can go and contract with them and they say, hey, uh, Mr. Springer, you write some good articles uh, for every. Uh, let's say for every 1,000 word article you submit that we accept from you, we're going to pay you $250. Great. Now, as someone who loves arbitrage, what am I going to do with the $250? I'm going to go and hire a freelance writer who says, hey, man, I can bang out a thousand word article for you for $100. Boom. Let's make a deal. They do the thousand word article for one hundred dollars. I sell it to the other people who pay me two hundred and fifty dollars for it. Why? Because I'm able to capitalize on what I know. I know this place wants to spend two hundred and fifty dollars for every one thousand word article. I know this guy who sells his thousand word articles for one hundred dollars. Those who know capitalize on those who don't know. He doesn't know that this publication will pay him $250 for the article. They don't know that he will write the article for $100. Here I am standing in the middle with all the knowledge. So I get to capitalize on what I know. This is why I stay studying. This is why I watch YouTube videos all day. This is why I buy courses. This is why I attend conferences. This is why I network and create connections everywhere I go. Because the more I know, the more I can capitalize. Put that in the comments. The more you know, the more you can capitalize on. Right? Uh, editing and proofreading. Same thing, guys. I can be I can build me a, a business as a book editor right now and not have to read a single page. Why? Hey, man, you got a 10,000 word book. It costs three hundred and fifty dollars for me to edit this book. I go on Fiverr dot com, find somebody who will edit that same 10,000 words for one hundred and fifty. Boom. I'm making two hundred dollars per book. All I have to do is find the authors who need their books edited. Y'all making this thing hard, man. It, it don't have to be hard. You just have to put in a little work. Pet sitting, right? Start a doggy daycare in your home. Again, I don't have to sit the pets. I just have to find somebody who will sit the pets. And this person is new to pet sitting. They don't know that they could charge $300 a day for certain dogs. I do. So when certain dogs need a pet sitter, I'm going to say, listen, 
I can sit your pets for you. I can board your pets for you. It's $300 a day. These people are charging $100 a day. Boom. I just make the connection and the $200 off the top, right? <laughs> Remote accounting, um, retail arbitrage. We talked about that. Ebooks and audio books. Take your writing or acting career to the next level. I mean, you guys got a nice, what they call radio voice. You got a nice radio voice. You can become a voiceover artist today and start making two to five hundred dollars per day as a voiceover person. Or you can make a little bit less and know how to read a single script. Listen, I know four people with beautiful radio voices. I go out and secure the job contracted to them to do the job for less than I got paid. Guys, this has been going on since the beginning of time. Think about what a general contractor is. A general contractor goes and gets the job from the developer and he charges X amount of dollars and he says, listen, you're building this building. You're going to need a roof. You're going to need some walls. You're going to need some drywall. You're going to need uh, some electricity, you're going to need some plumbing, you're going to need some HVAC. I got all of this stuff done for you for 200 grand. Now, what does he do? He goes and finds licensed practitioners and pays them by the hour to do the work. It's arbitrage, y'all, on a service basis. People love ebooks, audiobooks, they don't know how to put them together. Listen, you got this great idea. Let me help you uh, put your first ebook out. Okay, Cortez, how are you going to help me? Well, for $150, we're actually going to take your ideas. You already got them kind of in, in a way, and I'm going to have them formulated into an ebook uh, laid out with pictures and everything. And then what am I going to do? Go to Fiverr.com, find somebody that puts the ebook together for $50. Guys, there's so much opportunity out here in these streets. The question is, are you willing and ready to go get it? All right. Who wants to see my cash machine? I've got an automated affiliate marketing system that I want to give you guys for free today if you guys want it. It's free, right? So I already got products in it. All you got to do is just go sign up for it and download it. Couple steps, boom, video walks you through it. Let me show you guys this really, really quickly. This is called an automated sales machine, right? The one thing that you want to do when you create an arbitrage situation, the one thing you want to do in any business is you got to be constantly building your list. Right. What is your list? You got to be constantly collecting information and data from your customers and your prospects. So let me share my screen with you real quick. This is a, a sales system that I put in place and uh, all you have to do is market it and promote it. Right. But access our free sales machine. Now we'll show you how we made twenty nine seventy two and uh, forty eight hours and consistently make over a thousand dollars per day. Now, this is not me. This is the person who put this system together, right? So I got it for free and I'm starting to use it and I kind of like it because it's completely automated. What does it really say? Basically, the secret of making money online is a combination of having a good product with a trending, irresistible offer, a quick delivery method, a professional sales funnel, and a recurring payment system. With these high converting funnels, you'll get all this ready for you to start running your online business and make sales as soon as today. Put your name and email in and boom, you're just going to go to this short video that explains to you what the machine is, how you can get it for free, uh, the quick three steps to setting everything up, some testimonials on how it's working for people. Uh, those of you who are trying to make money online and you need an automated system to do it, this is it, y'all. Now, of course, when you get the free system, they're going to upsell you on some different things that's going to help you make more money. 
but you can actually make money 100 for free with this system so all you got to do is go to www and for my people who are listening to this on the podcast sorry you can't see but if you want to see what we're doing you can always watch the show live on the cortez hustle and all the replays live there as well so if you go to www uh, work with Cortez dot online uh, to get your free sales machine. Boom. Go check it out for yourself. Uh, watch the short video. See if it's something that you want to uh, plug into. But it's it's just another way that again the average working American in this country could be far better off financially if they had just an extra three to five hundred dollars per month seriously and understanding arbitrage whether it's retail arbitrage whether it, gary vanderchuk does a video series i forget the name of what he calls it but he literally goes garage selling on the weekends and he buys stuff from garage sales and he turns around and flips this stuff on ebay you want to make an extra three to five hundred dollars. That's a very easy way to do it. Period. Right. You want to go and get free stuff from Craigslist. If you handy, you might go get a dress from Craigslist, fix it up, put it back on Craigslist for sale. Right. You know how to do upholstery. They're give they're 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 giving away couches and chairs. Man, you go and get that couch for free and you put more cushions in it and reupholster that thing. You now got $50 into the project plus a little time. You turn around and sell that thing for $500 back on Craigslist. It's crazy, y'all. We got to get out of this place that a job is the only way to make money. We got to get out of this place that I don't want more out of life. I'm comfortable with where I am. No, an extra $500 per month properly invested can grow to $2 million in the next 20 years. Now your family doesn't have to worry about chasing a dollar and they can chase their passion. They can chase their purpose. They can chase their dreams. That's what this thing for me is all about. How can I help people get in a position to where they no longer have to chase a dollar, but now they can start going through this life trying to figure out what their purpose is. Two days, the two most important days in your life. The day you were born and the day you find out why. So that's retail arbitrage. That's service arbitrage. That's flipping on the Internet. Now, a lot of people say, well, Cortez, what's the difference between that and what you do? My passion is financial education. My passion is economic empowerment. One of the major differences is what I do creates passive and residual income. Right. I don't want to. I, I like my money to come. I like to do the work one time and get paid over and over and over and over and over again. So if you love financial education, if you love economic empowerment and you want a passive and residual income based business, that's where you text extra digit to three one four eight seven four six eight eight seven. Again, text your name and keyword extra digit to three one four eight seven four six eight eight seven we're literally going to show you how our professionals can improve your credit get your taxes down get your debts down get your monthly bills down get your cash flow up get your credit score up and get your assets up so so i'll talk to you guys next week get your money up because you absolutely can do it but more importantly you deserve to do it each and every single one of you now hustle up But you've got to overcome fear if you're going to win.